Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back. Uh, happy New Year. Yeah. Happy New Year. Christmas is over. All the decorations are down. We had a bit of an extended um, festive celebration period because Paul's birthday is like five days after the New Year. So we had birthday celebrations as well. So we've been away for a little bit. We're back and we are gonna try and create a wardrobe out of a cupboard. <laughs> yeah. You wanted me not to waffle, so there you go. Excellent, let's go and do it. <laughs> let's go and do it. So here we are in our little boy's room where the cupboard in question is with some slightly ratty old rocket stickers on Approach it. Approach the cupboard. That have uh, been packed up and brought from his bedroom in England. Let me just move this out of the way. So, here is the cupboard. Oh, I've got to move Concord. <laughs> Wait a sec. Don't drop it. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't say it. It's made from Lego and it's um, a million tiny pieces that took a week to put together. Yep. He is obsessed with aeroplanes, rockets, tractors, trains, anything and everything that you would expect a little boy to go for. So yeah, that was one of his Christmas presents and it took forever. So, this ratty old thing is the cupboard in question. That was a mystery top bit that I never noticed before up here, look. What's in there? This? Yeah, I spiders. Yeah, by the looks of it, it's very cobwebby. Yeah, so you want to do what with this? <sighs> so my idea is to change it into some sort of wardrobe. Change it? it? Yeah, it's clearly what? thin. These are solid walls. Yeah, it's, it's set into the, into the wall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's why it's so, so freezing in there. Yeah. <clears throat> well, his clothes will be nice and cool. <laughs> yes. That's what you want in clothes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'd have to seal this bit somehow, I reckon. For what purpose? Because he doesn't want spiders all over his clothes. No, Do you want not. spiders all over your clothes? Not really. No, exactly. Fair enough. So we'd have to seal this properly with a little bit of wood Yeah. to make sure that it's not um, exposed to bugs. Give it a good old clean out. Maybe give it a new lick of paint if it's needed. Put a rail in and maybe some shelves up here. Shelves? I reckon. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, maybe some shelving up here. Yeah. Maybe a couple of shelves, a little rail at kind of appropriate child height. Yeah. Is it actually big enough to put clothes into? Yeah, I reckon. Look, let's get a hanger. Yes, that's a good idea. Let's see. He's got some adult hangers with jumpers on. <laughs> I mean, maybe no, not. Is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. Hmm, but you could have rails that come out. No, you no. couldn't. <laughs> you could just have a load of shelving. Just turn it into lots of shelves and have a shelf for trousers, jumpers, so on, so on, so on. Mm -hmm. And that would work as well. Yeah. Bracket, <laughs> brackets is what shelves need, isn't it? Yeah. Or and a floating Where are your shelf? brackets? Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> That's the first bridge, though, in building a shelf. Where's the shelf? <laughs> it's 34 centimetres deep. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Don't pick on me. How wide is it? And it is... This thing is just stupid. It's... 93 wide. Are you writing this down? 93, I wanted to say 34. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I said 34. You weren't listening. Wasn't listening no. You were just busily dissing <laughs> just my filming. entire plan. Well, I'm just looking at the reality of your plan. So we need to get many bits of wood. No, we need brackets, my love. We're not having brackets. Brackets look horrible. How can you put up a shelf with no brackets? Can't we get floating shelves? Floating shelves have brackets. Floating. <laughs> Floating shell have bracket. <laughs> Let me just write these measurements down for a very dull moment. A, floating shells don't work, and B, they still have brackets. 
Yeah, but they have brackets that are hidden. Yeah, but they're rubbish. They? they don't work. They just go <clears throat> after about five minutes. <laughs> don't you remember our cat shelves? <laughs> I do remember our cat shelves. Yeah. Now we're going to have to find pictures of the cat shelves. Yeah. I reckon this must have been built by the, this frame was put in by the old owners maybe no no this is part of the house the original house because look there's a lintel up here oh yeah and you see so it's designed that way Whoopsie. oh <laughs> for some reason they wanted to have a cupboard or a, maybe Storage. it was a window i don't know it's a very strange place to put one though so this is our bedroom hallway um our little boy's doorway is just behind paul behind you guys in front of me and if you look out of the window, yeah, that wall there that Paul's pointing to is basically where that cupboard is. So yeah, it can't have been a window because there's yeah. nothing to show that there would have been a window on this wall side. It might have been rebuilt, but I mean, I don't see why. Yeah. It doesn't look like it has. Yeah, it is a mystery and it isn't mirrored on the other side. Our little girl's room, which is on the exact sort of same... Um, mirrored opposite. side <laughs> <laughs> oh we haven't done videos for a while and i've forgotten how to speak <laughs> you never knew how to speak to start with shush um yeah our little girl's room which is on the opposite side of the chateau um on the same let's go and explore wing it. if you like just here so that's her bedroom wall on the opposite side that looks across to our little boy's room where there's the cupboard. But if you come into her room, it's a bit dark though. It would have been, that's a fireplace there, look. Yeah, but there's a fireplace in his room. So there is. Where yeah. would the cupboard have been? The cupboard then? would have been there. Sort mm, of right weird. over in that um, corner, over there. Yeah, there's not one there, is there? Clearly. <laughs> no. Nope. So. No cupboard in here then, we've established that. So I think we should go to the shop and get the the materials we need. No, let's go into the basement and see what materials we've got already. It better be good quality stuff. Here we are in the basement. I don't want to have a look in the bags, I want to get in something nice. Well, tough. It's going to house his clothes, not have some old... No. Right. No brackets in here, but a really big lamp. Look at this. Wow. That's a headlight mm. for a car. Is it? Yeah. Why have we got a car headlight? <laughs> it's not ours. <laughs> well, it is. But yeah. It is it's now. ours now. It wasn't. <laughs> Let me have a look. What have you found? It's a sort of old um, door lock. There. Keep it still. <laughs> Emblazoned with LR. Mm. Broke on T maybe, not sure. But it was... You never know. There's exactly. another one. There's a bracket. <laughs> oh wow, that looks lovely. <laughs> I can't wait not to put his clothes. Funky keys, look at these. They are very funky. <clears throat> Pretty good, but that's not what we're looking for. Stop getting distracted. I'm looking in here. Yeah, I think you probably can establish that there's no... <laughs> Another one. No bracket in there. No bracket in here. Ha! I said. Yeah, you did. But it's worth, worth looking because we found something interesting vaguely. <laughs> well, I guess it's a bricko tripo. Yeah. To get, bri to get brickets. <laughs> brickets. Let's go and get some brickets. <laughs> Let's get some brickets. So yeah, I don't want us to go to the Brico and just wildly buy any old nonsense without actually having a plan first. So here against the wall on one side, you have like a bit of wood there like that, that is attached to this lower shelf. Yeah. And then that has a hook on it or uh -huh. something, however you attach rails. And then there's a rail that runs across like that. So he can still have clothes, clothes, clothes. Like that. It'll work. Excellent. <laughs> How will it work? Magic. <laughs> Um, so, where is the water source? Just an update. Um, behold. <laughs> behold the green. Some of it is going not in the, in the drain, I have to say. 
it's sort of going there on the ground. <laughs> Wooper, you're all soaking. <laughs> she is, she's disgusting. But some of it does, some go, of it in does drain, go in the drain. Which I can't film because it's got the grate over it, but it's like going in. Yeah. Wait. Wait what are you doing? Ah, yes. Look at that. Oh, you've still got a cap over it. Yeah, of course I have. Well, don't you want it to flow? No, no, it's a it's, Look, I'll show you. It's a final defence. <laughs> a final defence? It's a, it's a final defence against leaves. Ah, OK. I see. Wait. I see, I see. I understand. Actually, it's clogged up the leaves. Can you just get your hand in there and pull <laughs> the leaves out? <laughs> pull the leaves out, boy. <laughs> No, don't take the thing off. Just put the leaves, pull the <laughs> leaves out. The dress is going to get wet. <laughs> Yuck. The dress is going to, you're not going to swim in it. Just pull out the leaves from it. Oh, it's newt. Yeah, pull out the newt. <laughs> Wait, why are you, put it over, surely put it out of the. I went in a sec. It'll just get, this will just wash back in again. <laughs> Shut up. If someone why had just like, put it over there in the first place. It's got their angles. Ah. Oh! What? Something just dripped right down my back. It's probably, probably off the, water. the tree. No, why? I'll oh, just take it off then. Take it off and then we can em empty it more easily. Go well, Newt. No, don't do it there. That's all going to go back in the thing. Lunatic. Do I just throw it in the cat's face by accident? No. <clears throat> Very oh, good. No. Stick that back on then. The Newt's didn't... Uh, yeah. The newts didn't come to ill. No. All right. Gross. Hooray. Well, that was a successful <laughs> six episode mission. <laughs> to say one thing I didn't anticipate was the, um, the green factor, which doesn't look ideal. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with this really, because I should have anticipated it would go green. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't. Excellent. Yeah, so there we go. Any ideas on what you would do with something that's ultimately going to go and stay green because of the water? It tastes delicious, apparently. I don't really want a rockery. Rupu, what are you doing? Delicious. Anyway. We haven't done our twiddly water deflecting thing yet, of course. <laughs> I think that's the least of our concerns, <laughs> as always. Yeah. Uh, well, yes, but um, there we go. <laughs> Excellent. At least there's not a river in the garden. That is true. That is true. And our little grass seeds that we planted that I don't think we even showed you because we did it one weekend with the kids sprang up like crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, what was a big pile of mud and trench is now. Let's go and film the waterfall. Bit. Passable garden. I am not going down yeah, like you this. Are. No, I'm not. Come on. No. Come on. You can but do my it. My boots will get wrecked. They're boots. How can they get wrecked? <laughs> uh, and so I'm standing sort of where the trench is. That's the exit there. And we drag a massive trench all the way from here, all the way up, past up this little hilly bit and all the way up there to the water source that you can just see in the distance. Mm -hmm. So you can see there's now a little waterfall. There it is, being waterfally. And that's probably about an eight foot drop into the field there. Yeah, yeah, we know that because one of the kids rode off it on one of their ride-ons. Oh, don't. <laughs> oh, absolutely fine, completely fine. Didn't need hospitals, didn't need anything. But yeah, just seeing your child launch over the edge. Thankfully, it was summer and there was a lot of like scrub down and stuff. So it was a soft landing, albeit a bit of a shock. Nothing that a biscuit and a cuddle and a kiss better didn't fix. No, though. indeed. It was all okay. But that is the result of our millions of hours worth of work is a small waterfall down into the field. Yeah. Hooray. <laughs> Okay, so we're just about to go to the Bricko when I glanced at the shelves over here and noticed that they might be a little bit more appropriate for our needs. Forgive the mess on the shelves. <laughs> Dumping ground. They're sort of um, just resting on these little sort of bearer things that have been screwed into the wall and it might be better because then there's no brackets 
that are going to get in the way of clothes. And I guess we need to go and have a look and see what wood we've got in our barns. Oh, I was all coated up to go to the shop. Or you can be coated up to go to the barn instead. <laughs> Let's measure how um, wide these are first though. Because oh, yeah. we've got loads and loads of baton material from when we did those nets, but they're like tiny things. No, that won't. Things, that's so okay. We need proper sized are, wood. They're about an inch. Is it metric, please? Oh, I just had the ruler that way around, so it's easier to say. I think they're probably about two and a half centimetres. All right, fine. There you go. Let's go and see. In we go. So you reckon there's wood in here, do there's you? There's lots of wood. Yeah, but is any of it in any kind of decent state? Have a look at it. Where? Where is it? Wood. That's disgusting. That's been used to level off concrete or yes, something. Yes, that has. There's bricks, mostly. <laughs> bricks? And no, right. there's not a lot of wood in here. <laughs> Make him... <laughs> shelves out of bricks. shelves out of bricks. Yeah. I tell you where there is loads of wood. The there's loads spot. of wood in the other barn that yes. we can't get into because the keys got left in England. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> nightmare. Right, let's check the other barn that we can get into. Okay. Oh, what about in here? Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, it's very dark in here. <laughs> Mind me. Not when you're using actual eyes, it's not. Probably just dark on camera. I mean, there's loads of stuff down here, but it's all super thick. And you haven't got a decent saw bench thing, have you, to slice it into bits that we need? I've got a saw, yeah. <laughs> and the hollering cat. <laughs> have a sift through it, get some gloves on and have a sift through oh, it. Oh, that means going back into the house. Yes, well, okay. Um, what? More of what's the matter? Don't go up on the bricks, they're not stable. Okay. She wants to be involved. Don't climb on the wood pile, you silly animal. <laughs> Wee poo. I mean, the only appropriate looking bit is just over here, but it would need to be cut into lengths. It's already been cut for something. No, that's too small. It. No, that's, that's horrible. But that's yeah. chipboard, you don't want that. Yeah. So this is the last barn that we can get into at the moment because of missing keys, but this has got some random bits and bobs up on these shelves. Oh uh, yeah. They're quite thin. That sort of stuff. Yeah, that's I mean, it's fine. ridiculously cobwebby, but nothing Oh yeah, wipe it off. <laughs> exactly, nothing that a dust over What's above you? Uh, it looks quite thin. No, no, there's more of it though. Little tiny. There's load. What's that? This? Yeah. Oh. It's quite a big. Yeah, well, good. We need a big. Yeah, but we don't. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. We don't. Don't you come. Oh, okay. You co you're cheeky. You're not climbing up there. You can't. Don't be silly. Where's she off to? She's about to climb up this butt of beam. <laughs> you're not. You're not bonk. No. It is bonk. Don't even think about it. She's got the bonkers. You couldn't climb like that if you tried. No, you couldn't. You can't. You're too way. <laughs> you nut nuts. <laughs> now she's like, I'm stuck. Oh, whoopee. You nearly went You're straight old. into those of glass, you silly goose. <laughs> yeah, you can't be doing things like that. You can't make it. So there's these two pits. Okay, that'd be, that'd be good for uh, if we had more of it. Why would we need more of it? That's not enough. Darling, it's... Right, hold on, I've got a Yeah, but you've got, you want two shelves, haven't you? Yes. And I've already measured that it's um, 33 and a half deep. Okay, so, so you want these, 33 and a half. If these... Yeah, right, this one's 70. And this one's 78. Yeah, we need four. Four of those, that 33 length for two shelves. Yes, so chop it in half. 33, 33, 33, 33. Ta-da! Well, are they the same length each? They look slightly different. Uh, they are slightly different, but it doesn't matter because the length of them will give us 33 and a half. Okay. <laughs> it will. Fine. 
I'm the one with measurements. You are the one with measurements. Right, let's see if we've got any material for the actual shelves themselves in here. No. Yes. Skanky. Yes, but there's such a thing as a brush. So while I was um, searching for a bit of wood, I came across something interesting. Come Did and have you? a look. Okay. This way. Yes, look at this. Oh. It's, me cute. it's metal. I don't know. It might be a log burner, but I'm thinking it might be a fireplace, you know. A little fireplace. Yeah. Huh, that's sweet. So let's get it out and have a look at it. So we pulled it out of the barn. Let's have a quick look at it. It's pretty heavy, actually. Yeah. Not totally clear on what we've got here. That says something and I can't read it. Does it? Yeah, A-T-E-R-E-D, maybe. It's quite a pretty little thing. Yeah, I mean, it right. is enclosed, but I'm inclined to think Maybe, I th I'm trying to think it's a fireplace due to the way it's so ornate. Um, yeah. But it's cast iron, so not sure. And it's got one of those oh, yeah. things to open and close. And it has got a little flue at the back. Yeah. So it may be a log burner, but who knows? Huh. I never knew that it was in the barn. No, and this needs to get put somewhere nice because it's going rusty. It needs to go in the house or a drier location. <clears throat> but there we are. It's a nice little bonus find. I wonder if it was one of the little fireplaces from one of the bedrooms, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I was thinking that because it's exactly that sort of size, isn't it? Yeah, all the bedroom fireplaces are tiny. Mm. There's this little bit as well that Paul just pulled out of the same area of the barn, which it doesn't look like an ash pan. It doesn't look like it would fit under. Yeah, it would. No. Yeah. I don't reckon. These look like feet holes for that, doesn't it? To you? Let's have a look at it. What is this thing? It's a funny shape, look. Yeah, it's sort got like, like a lip. It has got a lip. Is this like, hold on. Is this the hearth front here? This rounded area is the hearth front. What's a hearth front? You know, the hearth of the um, fireplace. The sort of front bit. Uh -huh. And this is, you're right, potentially, this is where the, um, these little points are where that would have stood in. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Let's stick something underneath it. Because look, look at these um, feet. Look at the foot shape and then look at the holes, the triangular style oh, holes. Oh yeah, that's a match, isn't it? Yeah, so this foot would have sat Here. in those holes. Let's yeah. do it. But we need to turn it in that no, case. No, no, this is the right orientation. No, it's not. It is. It's not. I promise. It's not. I promise you it is. Oh, okay, no, it is. Sorry. Yep, I was looking at it backwards. Yep. Maybe not. <laughs> yes, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Go back a bit because it's got a little notch. Can you see? Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll have to tilt it. I'm in my notch. I'm not. Or are we doing this? No, this is the right way around. It just won't go because it's a little ridge. Here, let's take it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to tip it this way and then come out. Out. Nope. Stuck down here on this. Yep, I know. Why don't we tip the whole thing over? That's what onto I its, said. Onto this bit. How are you now? There, there you we go. go. Yeah, that is so cracked at the back. We need to stand it up again immediately. Uh, yeah, Cause look, we're going to wreck it. It's been bolted back together again a, bit, a few, uh, many times. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's fire safe. 
I would say not, no. <laughs> there we go, that's a nice little bonus find. Yeah. Yeah. Still haven't found shelves. No, I haven't found shelves. <laughs> I think we're going to be buying those. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, maybe.